How y'all doing today? Husband here. On today's SP Minute, I'm going to show you guys how to make a tasty chicken nuggets cheese toast. Now here's what you're going to need. I used some chicken nuggets. I actually used the Tyson chicken nuggets. A couple of sizes of bread. Some butter. A slice of cheese. Putting tinsels in the cooker. You need a skillet. A flipper. And a knife to cut the chicken and the butter bit. Now let's get started. First, you cut the chicken nuggets as the direction says on the bag. I cut my chicken nuggets for at 100 degrees for 10 to 13 minutes. Now, after they get done, you're going to put some butter into this kettle. There you go. And then I saw in case you need some, which I do. Then you take it out of here. Okay, now I'm gonna pop it in this can and then then it cook. Now here's the button this can and it's going up about to melt right now and while it's melting I'm going to take some bread and put sausage cheese on it here we go and sausage cheese here you go there I can see better and I'm going to add in a, some chicken nugget pieces I'm going to cut it up to fill up the whole sandwich. Wait a minute. There you go. Okay, now all the pieces are cut up, and now I'm going to add them to the sandwich itself. There you go. You can make the chicken pieces any you like. And now, all the chicken is grouped together and arranged, pop it on you know, the sandwich. Now you put the bread on top and as soon as the butter melts, you're going to put it in this kitchen. See, all the butter is melting very good, nice and neat. Now, since the butter is almost, almost Method on the way, I'm going to get him and put the sandwich in its carrot, like so. Put the paste it on the damper so you won't make a mess. Here you go. Make sure the chicken fall out. And now, put nasi in this carrot, like so. There you go. Now we're going to mash it on for a couple of times and just it's a different few minutes. Each side. No, it's ready to turn over. Just make sure that the first side is done and golden brown, which isn't yet. So I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. Put the on some.
give it a couple more minutes so it can go so, so go the brown. Now I think the side is completely ready, so I'm going to get flip it over. Be all nice and golden brown. And edit this side to cook for a few minutes. Make it nice and golden. See if the second side is ready. Lo and behold, it is. So now we're going to take it off the skillet. Make sure you top the stove. And then you're going to put it into the serving plate. And let it sit for a few minutes before you start digging in. Now, here's the final product. This is going to have nice and gooey and Cream the cheese is inside the sandwich. I'm gonna cut it open so you can see the inside. And this is nice and dirty, doesn't it? Well, next time, if I thought I'd put two pieces of cheese on instead of this one which I used. But, anyways. Hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching my Ricky food videos. As usual, I got forward to say to you guys. Peace, love, and star readers. Bye for now.